Hey everybody, the Bongus here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Mega Man 3 The Rise and Fall of Dr. Wily, obviously a Mega Man 3 ROM hack. This is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, since I'm taking a small break from Dynasty Warriors 5 to get some more votes for fourth weapon runs, I decided to have this particular ROM hack fill the void. Now, I, I am aware that that means I'm going to have two Mega Man projects going on, this and Battle Network 5 Team Colonel Edition. But, I was told that, you know, while I do, like, while my hacks are interesting, they would like to do some more variety other than Super Mario World hacks. And I was going to do, like, a Super Mario Bros. 1 hack, but the couple that I found were a bit buggy and very unpolished. So I decided to go with a Mega Man hack instead. I'm aware that the last Mega Man hack I did was probably from Mega Man 5 or 6. But I haven't done a 3 hack, so let's do that then. Alright, so the Robot Masters are obviously the same. Don't let the colors fool you and the portraits. They're the same color as well. So I like to go with the traditional pattern that I go with because that's how the weaknesses go. The level layouts are a little bit different. And also keep in mind, we'll be running into, like, enemies that are supposed to be in other levels in this one, I'm sure. Right, right now, it's very true to Top Man, but that'll probably change soon enough. Also, this does remind me of when I did uh, Mega Man 3 for the uh, ninth Sandbox Gaming Marathon that we did for the Boys and Girls Club of Newfoundland Labrador. We raised over $5,200 that time. That was pretty good for like 80 hours of work. And Mega Man 3 was one of the projects that I did. In fact, I beat it in like a 50 minutes and 4 seconds, roughly? Or, yeah, I think it was around 50 minutes, or 50, yeah, it was 50 minutes, I recall. I had 90 minutes to beat the game, and I had to do it on one of the guys, uh, GameCube version of Mega Man 3. You know, where jump and attack are reversed. So, yeah, that GameCube version was pretty weird when it comes to, like, traditional controls. Also, I want that E-Tank, so I will risk dignity in order to get it, and luckily I did not need to load my state at all. That was pretty lucky. Usually when I practice this particular version, or that jump to get the E-Tank, I tend to botch a lot. Also, Hammer Joes weren't originally in Top Man stage, so they're here for a change. That was a bit of a long jump, but we made it. Of course, the uh, Garfield boss is here. Throwing his lasagna balls at me. That's gonna be a bad mental image, lasagna balls. That'll probably end up on Facebook eventually. And then a few comments were saying, Oh, it sounds good, I want to share it, and then they tag all their shitty friends. Oh, no, no, oh, the parachute got me. How does a parachute hurt you in the Mega Man universe? I'll never understand that. So I guess we gotta do this part again. I already got the E-Tank and it's not gonna respawn, unfortunately. That would be too easy if you can just farm for E-Tanks that way. Man, that's pretty hard to dodge the attack right there. So obviously this ain't your grandma's Mega Man 3. It's a bit harder. Obviously, acts are usually known to be harder. The hitbox for that cat seems a bit off to me. Like, for some reason, the shots just go right through them without hitting. There we go. Okay, well, since I died over here, I'll forego the whole save thing. I'll usually only save in spots where I die. And if it means I'm gonna lose a lot of progress, just by keep going. Whoa, oh, go back. Yeah, that's a very dangerous part right there, because those parachute guys will just knock you back into the pit. Oh, almost dropped right down and got bulldozed. They are almost at full health. And there's our boss, but first I gotta take out the cat again. And there. 
All right, so Tom Man's obviously a very easy boss. That has not changed at all. There we go. Oh, faced the wrong way, so that might cost me a little bit of time. But luckily, this is not a speed run. I'm not in marathon mode where I gotta finish as fast as possible. I just like to finish as fast as possible just to avoid constantly being attacked. <laughs> There we go. That's one Robot Master defeated. And then we can move on to Shadow Man next. Alright, when I played a, this game for the marathon, I actually went in a different order than I traditionally do. I went with Top, Shadow, then Gemini, and Needle, then Snake, then Spark, and Magnet, and Heart. The reason why I went with Needle Man fourth as opposed to traditionally being somewhere around last, is because I needed to get Rush Jet as fast as possible. That would make things go a little bit faster, obviously. And believe you me, Rush Jet in Mega Man 3 is so far much better than Rush Jet in the other adaptations after that. Especially when you need to just get around fast. In 4 and 5, you just go straight forward and you just gotta hold up and down to move up. And you don't really go that far up or down. So you better time it just right. Also, I do like the different colors they got going on here. Like, it's water instead of lava. Or maybe that's just really hot lava or something to make it blue. Well, obviously that does not work. It only works for fire, or blue fire is better than red fire for being hot. And that thing is stuck. Just be careful with that, because there's going to be pits this time. I remember in traditional Mega Man 3, you didn't have to worry about pits, but here you do. Okay, there's no pit there. All right. I suppose I can always use the enemies as a guide. But I'm going to get very paranoid from this point. It's like, I'm just going to wait for them to pass, and then I'm going to go. Oh, it looks like I need Rush Coil for this. Good. No more of those, uh, hologram or dark parts. Perfect. Oh yeah, this is definitely much harder. But I like it. Like, it's the good kind of hard rather than the cheap kind of hard, you know what I mean? Oh, good, an extra life, because I never got one for the entirety of this game so far. Okay, so Top Spin actually does work against these enemies, so if I have to, I'll try it. Keep in mind, whenever you use it, you just bounce back for a little bit, so make sure that you're not above an abyss then. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. And no sense in me trying to kill those dragonflies or anything. I'm better off just being patient so I can save as much as I can for Shadow Man. Unless I can, like, uh, carve out some time. Whoa! Luckily I'm not using too much weapon energy for it. And there we go. There. Alright. Yeah, just go right over me. Uh, I was kind of hoping to get some more health. Okay, fine, just give me more top spins if I really needed that. Well, if I die, at least I'll start back here. I'm pretty sure I will die. Yep, huh. <laughs> but look at all the little top spin that I used. That must have been changed in the hack. That you're not using up so much top spin energy whenever you come in contact with an enemy. Okay, never mind, you do use up quite a bit, but not as much as you would normally. Alright, so that's two Robot Masters down. Moving at a slower pace than I normally do in traditional Mega Man 3, but that's because I practiced the hell out of it. This here is still a little different to me. 
But I remember I streamed it many years ago when I used to actually stream. That was probably around the time the dinosaurs ruled the Earth, but... This was one of the hacks I did. So let's take on Sparkman next. And there we go. I think I'll start using the Shadow Blades a little bit, because I found that very overpowered a weapon in this game. Usually to tell if anything is overpowered in a Mega Man series, just see if it's got Blade attached to it. Nine times out of ten, it does. It looks like I was able to select Rush Jet, even though I didn't have it yet. That's a bit of a weird glitch. Okay, this part is frightening. But I made it. Alright. I feel that when it comes to save stating, it's kind of justified in hacks, because it's obviously much harder. Oh, careful. Whoa-hoo! Good thing I did not jump. Those spikes would have hit me for sure. No! Okay. Should have seen that coming. They're gonna put those in the worst possible spots. Every time. Usually before you make a jump. If you saw it coming over there, I was gonna come over the next part. Yep, not falling for that again. Oop! Aww. Thought I could just clear that. Man, I'd rather get hit by the Met Tool than the Spikes. Aw, oh, come on, you! Ugh. I was kinda hoping to get some health. You weren't supposed to appear until, like, Needle Man's second stage. Now they're in the most precarious spots. So yeah, be very cautious about that, and I have a feeling that one of those junk guys are gonna show up. Yeah, they aren't supposed to show up until, like, Dr. Wily's stage. And yet they show up pretty early here. really need some help, but I don't want to use the E-Tank yet. I prefer to save it for bosses. But so far, health is not dropping. Oh, I thought I was at the boss already. Ah, oh, I thought I could make that. Yeah, I can pretty much see myself needing to use an E-Tank here. At this rate. Looks like it's just mostly... Okay! Like, you crept up out of nowhere. Good, I was able to hit him from there. Alright. So far, I'm doing okay. I'm not gonna go for that life. Can I get that E-Tank from here? I don't think I can. No, I can't. I need the rush jet to reach that. Well, that's pretty shitty. Alright, let's see if I can defeat Shadow Man, or I mean Spark Man, without using my E-Tank. It all depends on if I can actually get him to use his attack early. Well, it was early enough, but I still could not clear that. Should have, like, jumped before he was about to use it and get it over my head. That did not pan out the way I wanted it to. Oh, now he uses it that time. You know, you're already at full health, so we might as well just screw with you. Alright, so I'm down to, like, only one life left. But, oh well, if I die early, I'll die early, and then I'll just use, another, use a continue. That's fine, too. Alright, so that's three Robot Masters down. I think I'll go for Magnet Man next. That is my usual traditional order, like, just go by the weaknesses. But 
So far, so good. I mean, 15 minutes in, and I've taken out, what, three Robot Masters. And I probably did not start until, like, 20 to 30 seconds in. Alright, well, this pretty much has the same gimmick. You got those, uh, helicopter magnets going around. Usually in the most precarious position, so make sure you know where you are from above the platforms. Otherwise, you're gonna fall into the spikes or into nothingness. Both of which will kill you. Oh, Danky Kang is here this time. And we never got a chance to meet. Yep, game over. I'll take it. I wanna go back to the stage. So now I got a fresh set of lives. That's good. I'm happy with that. Alright, maybe next time I'll use the rush coil to try to get up there, because I feel like that's one of those pixel-perfect jumps. But let's see how possible it is to do without it. Oh yeah, it's doable. You just gotta time it perfectly. I think Top Spin works really well against Danky Kang. There we go. Oh god, a lot of these types of jumps you gotta make. Oh, I should have known better. But I'm an idiot sometimes. <laughs> it gets kind of tangly to select your uh, your weapon in this game. Especially when you don't have them all. But, it is what it is. Luckily in later Mega Man games, they just go in like, a list form. Which is like, more top-down, which is more convenient. There we go, perfect, okay. Is there gonna be an enemy spawning right over there? Yep, I thought so. I don't trust that jump. Ooh, he just grabbed the bottom wrong. Nice. Oh, God. What? I was holding right. Why didn't he just go? Oh, God. No checkpoint over there? Really? Okay, how are we going to do this, then? I think I should just rush coil it. I think that was probably a trap. Up. Well, actually, just get up there, will ya? Thank you. There's gonna be an enemy spawning over there, will there? No, okay. It seemed like a big empty room. Empty rooms tend to be the most dangerous. And the empty-minded people are even more so. Oh god. Uh, oh, what?! The magnetism just kept going?! I really should have saved back there. I'm just wasting all this time. Well, at least I'm not using my last save in a stage before. That would be really bad. This would be so much easier if I actually had Rush Jet. Because then you can just avoid all this stuff altogether. This is the spot that killed me. There, that's better. I like not being killed. <laughs> there we go! Ooh, that was a tricky jump. A lot of the jumps in this hack, I mean, I'm telling you, they're... They're tight. Yeah, I was wondering when you were gonna fall. Alright, now for, uh, Magnet Man. Sh Shadow Blades and Spark Shock work really well, but I'm gonna stick with Shadow Blades because you can aim them upward. There we go. When I did this for the marathon, I actually let myself get hit by that magnetism attack, because then you can take Magnet Man out of his invincibility. If you're trying to speedrun this, that can save you, like, a couple seconds. But I'm not really a, a major speedrunner. 
I'm not the type of people that would try to, like, use glitch runs, because I kind of despise glitch runs, even though they are a part of speedrunning. I just don't care for them. So, anyways, I'm going to stop the video right here, and in the next episode, we'll take on Hardman. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.